to Matt Patrick. Okay, Jerry Shoe is 547. I told you, MattPatrickShow.com. I've got all 30. I mean, I got all 30 of the great Super Bowl commercials up on the blog page. Check them out, including the Seinfeld, which I love. But which are the best ones, according to the experts? Amy Beamer from SpotBowl.com, an advertising insider, is with us. And, Amy, we get to see a few celebrities in these commercials? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, every year the Super Bowl has a share of celebrities, and this year is no different. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing Donald Trump, uh, Deion Sanders from uh, football fame, uh, Apollo Ono, the, the Olympic uh, speed skater, uh, Mark Cuban is going to be on, uh, Jillian Michaels from The Biggest Loser, uh, David Beckham is going to be on, uh, John Stamos. So, you know, again, a, a good set of uh, celebrities will be out hawking their wares uh, during the Super Bowl. And Amy Ferris Bueller, I can't wait for his return. I know. Have you seen that? I've seen little clips of it. I mean, they are really pushing this hard. And for some of us who grew up on that movie, it, I can't wait for it to come back. Exactly. I think people of a certain age, that really is, is appealing to. And, and I think the other thing that Honda's done really well is they have a, a plan for how to market the spot in the pregame. Obviously, it's going to run in the, it, during the game and then, you know, uh, a plan for the postgame as well. And you see more and more of that with the advent of social media and YouTube. Uh, you know, more and more uh, brands are, are leaking their ads or doing previews to their ads prior to the game to get people talking about it and get them interested in it. Why do you think, Amy, that, that we are, are so uh, enamored with these Super Bowl commercials? I mean, why is it that we tune in for the commercials? Because the game many times, although this one I think will be good, but the game many times uh, stinks. Uh, so we wait for the commercials. And you know, why is that? Well, I, I think what I think there's a couple things at play. I think for a long time the games really were sort of lopsided, so the the commercials be, became the default. And I'll say that that was probably more in the late '80s and '90s. Um, you know, since we've been doing spot balls, spot balls in its ninth year, most of the games have actually been competitive. So I mean, it's not been like, well, you know, the game's already over in the third quarter. You know, let's see what the what the ads look like. I think the other thing that's really in play is it is one of the few times that the name sort of stops and is in community, you know, watching one thing. When you talk about having 120, 140 million people watching the same program, it really is a platform for advertisers to be able to, to uh, you know, sell their products, tell their stories, that sort of thing. What's your favorite? Have you seen them? I mean, have you seen the spots before we do because you're the uh, advertising uh, guru? a lot of them and, and interestingly enough this year has had the most spots that are already out and, uh-huh. and i'll say when we started spot bowl nine years ago it was so secretive that you could barely get a list of the advertisers that were going to be in the super bowl so it, over the course of those nine years again with the advent of youtube and social media and that sort of thing uh, you know the actual spots that are going to be running are now released prior to the game mm-hmm. And I got them. I'm at PatrickShow.com. Which spots does she like and which ones is Amy most excited to see? Joining us, Amy Beamer. Uh, She's an advertising expert and an insider. She works for SpotBowl.com. They keep track of all the commercials. We've been talking with Amy. Amy, what uh, commercials are we most excited to see this year? I think that the Honda one with Ferris Bueller is going to be really popular. I think a lot of people are interested in seeing what Volkswagen does this year. Uh, Little Darth that was the spot oh, for Volkswagen I last that. year. love mm-hmm. that one. That scored first place in spot bowl last year. And uh, there's there's a uh, Star Wars theme for Volkswagen again this year. So I think people are interested to see what that's going to be. And then, I mean, you can't count Budweiser out either. I mean, they're the king of beers. They've been the king of, of Super Bowl advertising for all these years. You know you're going to see humor from Bud Light. You know at some point you're going to see the Clydesdale. So, um, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a well-rounded uh, group of spots. And, you know, we're mm-hmm. always interested to see, you know, what's going to break through and what's going to appeal to the, the American people. You know, and I've already gotten a- pre-tease with uh, the David Beckham spot. That's not bad either, Amy. I, I've seen that, and mm-hmm. I, I think that that will have a certain appeal to a certain audience. So, Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, well, I, I mean, we have to get something I, for us I, every I, now and I, then. I, I, think, I think my breakfast is coming up here a little bit, Amy. <laughs> well, Hang you, on. well, you know, but the men get Danica Patrick and go daddy. So, exactly. You know, that's, a, that's a fair trade-off. I mean, Danica Patrick is okay. I mean, yeah. You know. Isn't she your sister or something? I mean, <laughs> yeah, you guys have the same yeah. last name. So, I mean, uh, and I don't plan on adopting her and uh, making her my daughter or anything. So, uh, I mean, Danica Patrick, she's okay, yes. But she has family. So, I mean, I can't get I all see. excited about that. That's true. Thank
Thank you, Amy, from SpotBowl.com. By the way, you can go to SpotBowl.com and uh, you can see where they're rating the commercials right now before, during, and after the Super Bowl. Also, MattPatrickShow.com. Even better.